Here on Claimed and Shamed, we see many methods which scammers use to put in bogus claims. But for every con, there's also a way they can get found out. From eyewitness testimony to CCTV, engineering reports to social media, or, as in our first case, by the use of covert surveillance. When the Health and Safety at Work Act came into force in 1974, it said that employers had a responsibility to protect their workers' health, safety and welfare. Since then, whilst all sorts of safeguards have been put in place to implement this, accidents do still happen, with more than half a million people a year sustaining an injury in the workplace. But some of those who report an accident will just be trying their luck. In our next case, it was CCTV evidence that exposed a dodgy claim made against a lorry. There are around half a million licensed heavy goods vehicles, HGVs, here in the UK. Drivers must undertake expert training and obtain a heavy goods vehicle driver's license before they're able to hit the road. However, accidents can sometimes happen in these unwieldy beasts, and that's where specialist insurance companies step in. Following a genuine collision between two vehicles, some unscrupulous people will try to inflate their claim, but they're likely to come unstuck, as expert engineers can tell exactly what damage had been caused. In England alone, there are more than a quarter of a million licensed taxis and private hire vehicles. With that number zipping up our lanes and nipping down our streets, it's no wonder the odd accident will happen. But in our next case, the cab in question was parked and stationary when it was involved in a collision. Nearly 60 million people in the UK are active on social media. For many, it's a great way to keep in touch with family and friends. But others who share every little detail on social media as a way of life should remember that with every post, they're potentially handing valuable evidence over to the insurance investigators. On our busy highways, motorcyclists are among the most vulnerable of road users. An average of six riders a week are killed in collisions and more than 100 are seriously injured, with the most common reason being that the other driver failed to look properly. However, the motorcyclist in our next story used that reason as an excuse to try to make a very dodgy claim. What he didn't bank on were eyewitnesses coming forward to say what had really happened. Another shocking case of deception and a timely reminder that we all need to remain vigilant to the scourge of insurance fraud. From chances exaggerating injury to criminal gangs engineering crashes for cash, these tricksters hit us all in the pocket. Every year, insurers lose millions to these scams and it's you, the policyholder, who ends up paying the price in hikes to your premiums. But the sheer number of thieves caught in the act sends a clear message to anyone thinking about cheating the system. They claimed, but now they're shamed. <laughs>